Hi there, I'm Robert Knoll. This is the Interval Blues Mission. This is a series that has 12 videos to go along with the 12 tone chromatic scale. I'm basing this upon the charts that you'll see. They're within form two because form two is generally the most easiest form area geographically on the guitar landscape for most people to look at intervals. So you need to understand something about intervals. This series is based probably more for intermediate to advanced guitar players. But when I say interval blues mission, what I'm doing is I'm relating intervals in the 12 tone scale as in the blues genre, in the blues style of guitar players, in the blues creative world in music. I'm bringing some music theory, my own guitar philosophy, my own guitar science, to explaining how 12 tones can be utilized for creativity, specifically in the genre of blues music or blues guitar playing. 12 video, four or five minutes to about 12 minutes for the longest, but they're all about every one of the 12 intervals. So what I want to do right now is show you the 12 tone scale, but I want to specifically talk today about the root note. The root is one. If I'm in the key of A, A is one. That is the key note. There happens to be three sharps in the key of A. This is something you need to study key signatures, understanding how many sharps or flats are in every key. The key of C is no sharps or flats, right? Key of G has one sharp. And you can go on A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then the flat keys. And you want to look at the relative minors. So there's a, some additional studying for you to do about key signatures that will benefit you very much in understanding the circle of fifths and key signatures. I'm looking at form two, and I know I have my major scale, my minor scale, my pentatonic scales, my major blues scale, my minor blues scale. I have dominant seven scale. I have uh, diminished scales, augmented scales, and then there are all the modes. I'm not going to go into modes in these videos, okay? But I want to talk about the 12 tone scale as to the roots. If I'm in form two, I have a root here on the fifth fret because I'm in the key of A. I would have a middle root here and that would be on my D string, seventh fret. And then I have another root up here on my high E string, fifth fret. Fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret. Root, 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 root. We always want to be in any form, you want to be able to see where your roots are. It's very important to see roots. It gives you a starting point or maybe an ending point, but it also identifies the root or the key. So if we're in the key of A, we have chord scales for every scale, and we have arpeggios, thus what I call the trinity, chord, scale, arpeggio, they all go together. We have, over all the scales, we have what's called the 12 tone, it's our music system. Our music system is based on a 12 tone system. Where I go A to A here, go A is my root, my key signature is A. It's also called my one. And I call it one because it's root. The intervals in form two as to the 12 tones for each octave. So an octave is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the form two movable scale, one to one, one to one. One to one and one to one. So root to root, root to root. Now I'm going to give you the 12 tones. So we start on the root, and then you have a minor second, a major second, a minor third. You have a major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, dominant seven, major seven, root. Now we've gone 12 tones. Then we go back to minor second, major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, 
minor seven, major seven root. From this root, I could keep going to minor second, major second, then I would go minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, minor seven, major seven, root. And I could keep going further and I could come backwards and I could do that on any string. I could as well as play that forwards, of course, going backwards if we wanted to go just from A to A. Learning to count your 12 tones can be very good. But the whole thing about intervals is the sound, the consonance and dissonance between each interval that identifies each interval. Consonance and dissonance, so important what sounds good down to earth, and what sounds out, outside. What causes tension and release. Dissonance, consonance. Tension and release. We start with your open A. So we got A, our root, our key note. And if you look at all of my charts, A is earth. I always say the root, the one, is earth. So whatever intervals we play with consonants or dissonance, tension and release, we always can come back to earth. Earth grounds us. It brings us back home. Humanity. One. Earth. The root. Our roots. As humans. As life. All life forms. Okay? One. So that's my A. Now I, I could be considering any, any note the root and then it would talk about the intervals and whatever key but we're doing with the key of a i start with the open a my root earth one this is the first video dealing with one the root in this series there are five forms one two three four five and it starts over again you have your form two major scale, your minor scale, you have your pentatonic major and minor, you have your major blues, your minor blues, your dominant seven, you have diminished scales, augmented scales, you have all the modes, we're not gonna deal with those right now, but you have all the scales that are within form two and your chromatic scale, root to root. If we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's one octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Root to root. Root to root. Root to root to root. So I've got three roots in form too. Happen to be A's because I'm in the key of A. But the key of A that we're working in with all of these videos, the next 12 videos I'm doing for you, all deal with form two as well as the videos I've done with part one of a chromatic 12-tone adventure and part two. Of a, but it all deals with form two because it seems to be the easiest for most uh, guitar players to look at and understand by first dealing with form two. If I played chromatically from A to A, I would be dealing with, of course, the root, and I've got three roots, but I'm going to count my intervals. I'm going to count 12 tones. They're semitones. Every half step, every fret, from here to here is a semitone. My second finger, that's what we call a minor second. Now, on my chart, you'll see I have colors. The root note is always earthen. It's a combination of colors of browns, greens, earthen colors, blue, our sky. Because when we say earthen, number one root, it's home base. It brings us home. We are human beings, a life form on the planet Earth, and one is our roots on this planet. Our root is Earth, our planet. So that's how I'm associating roots, earthen. Earth, one, or our roots, to my second finger, that's a half step. So that's my minor second. I go to my next third finger would be major second. Now I've got two semitones. Two semitones equal major second. Then I go to my three semitones, my fourth finger, and that's the minor third. I go to the next string for the major third. Then I go to perfect fourth, tritone. Then I go to my perfect fifth, minor six, major six, minor seven, major seven, and then I'm back to one. So that was 12.
12 tones. If I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I'm back to 1. But don't be confused because I counted the 12 tones. When I talk about intervals, I'm talking about the distance between 1 and 2. That's the minor second. Then we have the major second, the minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, minor seven, major seven, root. Then from that root, we go minor second, major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, minor seven, major seven, root. I could keep going from that root or I could come back. I could come back to, I'm at the root, major seven, minor seven, major six, minor six, perfect fifth, tritone, perfect fourth, major third, minor third, major second, minor second, and then I'm back to root. Major seven, minor seven, major six, minor six, perfect fifth, tritone, perfect fourth, major third, minor third, major second, minor second, root. But when I got up to here, or even from this A or any A, if I wanted to keep going, one, minor second, major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, minor seven, major seven, and then I'm back to root. I've gone 12 tones. Of course, I could keep going. One, minor second, major second, minor third, and keep going and come back. What I've just done is I've just said the what we call the 12 tones. We have minor and major intervals, and we have what we call perfect fourths and perfect fifths, and we have like the tritone. You know, we have these different names. But what we're really dealing with is we're dealing with the sound of intervals the sound of the 12 tones. What do they sound like when they're played together? A root and a two. Well, guitar-wise, that's really hard to do to play an A and a B flat together. That would be my root and my minor second. Ah, oh, wow. Very dissonant. Tension and release. So important that you start to understand and care about tension and release. Dissonance and consonants because we have our in our scale and in music when we solo and play blues and everything we have tension we build and we release tension we have our, what are called leading and passing tones in riffs and scales it's what our trinity is made up of as well the trinity as i say it is chord scale arpeggio the trinity or trilogy trinity i call it to understand the trinity chord scale arpeggio we need to understand intervals you need to understand key signatures because today we're in the key of a all my videos are in a so we basically learn one key but that's applicable to all 12 keys here's another study i wanted to do for you with intervals just taking your open a dealing with the a major form two scale because you should see them vertically and horizontally okay but i want to go open a is our root, our one, our key signature, earthen. It's down to earth. Whenever we hit a root anywhere, it's earth. We come down to earth, our planet. Root, I go to that first fret, and that's my minor second, just like I did here. So there's the sound of my minor second, the sound of my minor second. My major second would be going to the next fret. Two semitones. Each fret is a semitone. So there's my major second, M2. Consonant or dissonant? Minor second. Dissonant? How about the next step up, the minor third? Root? to C, our blue tone, what they, a lot of people associate minor third as the blue tone.
future third to C sharp. Minor third. Major third. Next we have the perfect fourth. Tritone. Perfect fifth. Minor six. Major six. Dominant seven. The twelfth tone, major seven. on 12 tones, the octave from A to A, but 12 tones, A to A. If I was doing a major scale, this would be octave. And I could keep going. Minor second, major second, minor third, major third, fourth, perfect fourth, tritone, Fifth, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, and I'm running out of frets, right? I could do that on any string. I could go up and down and say the intervals, as long as I have the tone center, as long as I know what the root is, where one is, where home is, whatever key it may be. So we're dealing with the key base. So hopefully when you do this exercise, you begin to hear what one in minor second sounds like. You know, if I do a little distortion here. Major second, minor third, major third, perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth, minor six, major six, minor seven, major seven, root, I'm home again, major seven, minor seven, major six, minor six, Perfect fifth, tritone, perfect fourth, major third, minor third, major second, minor second, and back to root. So that's one way of hearing what intervals sound like, the 12 tone. Now, if I went like I was talking about earlier and going, well, if I play a root and a root, I can do play some roots together. But playing a one and two, those two notes together to sound them together, it's kind of difficult. But I can hear the dissonance. Now, if I go one to a B, I can find a B that gets a little easier. That sounds dissonant. Minor third, that has some harmony to it, harmonious. It's the minor third of the minor scale. And then I go to major third, the C sharp, which sounds harmonious, consonant. Then I go to perfect fourth. That sounds consonant to me. Now I can play a tritone. flat five, tritone, dissonance, perfect fifth, consonants, down to earth, nature to me. I see green, I see trees, earth, and with the root, earth, and with nature, down to earth. Minor six, well, a little 
got there, little blue, weird, why? Minor six, major six. Well, that's kind of nice. It's kind of warm. And now I would go to the minor seven, root minor seven. That's very powerful. The teal. Major seven. It's kind of purple. It's weird though. It's got some blue in there or something. Then I'm back to root. So I could keep going hearing what those two notes sound like together when I had major seven, minor seven, major six. If I wanted to go here, root, now I need that, that B flat. Dissonant. Major second. And dissonant, right? Minor third, minor third, major third, my yellow tone, earthen, the sun, perfect fourth, ooh, kind of psychedelic to me, the tritone, eh, t, trump, dissonance, and then my perfect fifth, earth, down, nature, perfect fifth, in root. Minor six, ah, kind of out there, a little blue, pink, Y, and then the major six again, just like I had one in the lower octave, now here's my upper octave. Now I hit a root and the minor seven, that would be in your A7 chord, right? Dominant seven, minor seven, the teal note. Then I go to my, my major seven, from your major seven chord but just on its own, very dissonant. And then I'm back to root. Then I could go minor second, major second, minor third, major third, perfect four, tritone, fifth. I don't think I can, my fingers, I'd have to start going into other forms to come out and hit those roots together. I'm wanting you to hear what the 12 intervals sound like.